what's up everyone and welcome back to fireman tv welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time visiting the channel make sure you hit the like button and like the video and share the video click on the like button and like the video and share the video okay so in today's video i'm going to teach you how to choose over 1.5 goals in sports betting how to choose over 1.5 goals in sports betting okay so uh recently uh, the market has been upside down and uh, a lot of uh stories in football but i'm going to teach you a strategy on how you can choose or how you can select a save over 1.5 goals to be scored okay so without wasting much time let's get to the video you can get uh, a flash score from the play store or the app store or you can get uh, a software score to do the analysis but right now i'm using a flash score okay so um let me show you some tricks here okay so uh in the process of choosing over 1.5 goals look at uh, games under league one under the france league one look at the games as you can see they all have over 1.5 goals to score in today's games okay so now let's look at that of the leon the game between leon and nantes now you click on the game like this and let me show you why they had over 1.5 goals today why they had over 1.5 goals now you click on the game yes straight forward to head to head then now look the last 10 matches of the home team okay so this is the game they play today so this one is not included this one is not amount okay so you can't you start counting from here one two three and four five downwards okay so we start from rangers versus leon we count down the last 10 matches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so it ended here where they won four zero it ended here so now let's look at a match with less than two goals so we're counting from here as you can see they had i think only one game this this match they had only one game that they had zero zero it was only one game that they was not able to produce two goals so now let's look at that of the awaiting so awaiting this is the two today's games this is the today's games so this one is not amount so we start counting from here and it goes like that okay so starting counting from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so now as you can see it was only one game here from the away team it was only one game that they was not able to score two goals so in all you rate the home team 90 percent 90 percent over 1.5 from the home team and the away team too is 90 percent over 1.5 so when you combine them it's 90 percent for both side over 1.5 goals it's 90 percent that they are going to produce at least over 1.5 goals okay so because the home team when you count the last 10 matches they produce nine out of the ten so the nine out of the ten they had over 1.5 goals it was just only one game that they was not able to produce over 1.5 goals the same thing applies to the awaiting okay so that's one strategy so now let's look at more example and we we'll confirm something here let's look at this match between breast toys versus harvard and you move straight forward to head to head now looking at this game 
to count last 10 matches this one is not included okay so counting from where they won 4-0 uh, against Salzburg so now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this one it ended here so it was only one match that they was not able to produce over 1.5 goals now let's look at that of the awaiting so this one is not around this one is not included so we're starting counting from here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and this one the away team they had 10 out of 10 they had 10 out of 10 so they had over 1.5 goals and out of the 10 uh, matches they had they had 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 so it's 100 percent that this match they we are going to have over 1.5 goals okay so combine it to the home team having nine out of ten so definitely they will have over 1.5 goals in this game so now let's look at last example then uh we move on okay so now looking at this game between Reims versus multiplier now we move on to head to head okay so now counting the last 10 matches from the home team now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this one too they had only one match which they was not able to produce two goals now let's look at that of the awaiting so now this one is not amount so we're counting from here one two three four and five six seven eight nine ten so this one they had the awaiting which is the multiplier they had ten out of ten for over 1.5 goals the last 10 matches they played they had over 1.5 goals the last 10 matches 10 out of 10 so combined with a home team which they had only one team uh without producing over 1.5 goals only one team out of the 10 only one team that they were they were not able to produce over 1.5 goals for grams so in all you just produce over 1.5 goals so that's how it is so if you can take your time and do this analysis in the end you are going to win something one thing about sports betting you have to have time for it you have to have time for it so for me i don't sleep early <laughs> not because like i don't i like i like staying awake because you have to spend time you have to spend time doing analysis if you're lazy then I, I, i'm not sure i'm not sure you're going to win consistently because you have to spend time you have to spend time and for you to make a lot of profit in sports betting at least you have to sell it only for two to three games only for two to three games per slip to increase your winning percentage that's it because you can do a very good analysis and it will show that in this game there's going to be over 1.5 but you don't want to know what will happen there can be a red card or something and the player might be absent and all that and in the end it turns the other ways around so but if you take your time to do analysis very good analysis in the end you will make something so that's how it is and if you don't understand anything you let me know and good luck